Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and this is the third part of the female walk cycle. Last time we uh, created the, the feet or the legs, we animated the legs and a little bit of the pelvis. Today we are going to be focusing on the arms. So let's go ahead and get started. So there are a little bit of painted weight issues here, which is fine. I can just go ahead and fix them because I'm the rigger, so I can do it all. But uh, let's go ahead and bring back our controllers. I hid them last time, so I'm going to turn on the V which is view, and now we have our controllers back. Cool. Now the fun thing about humans as we walk is that we have to be all about balancing because we're seriously just standing on a leg as we're moving our bodies forward, so that can cause a lot of tripping and falling. But lucky for us, we have arms to help us compensate for all that moving around. So you will notice that when our left foot is forward, her right arm is forward, and vice versa when her right foot is forward, her left arm is forward. So it's basically a balance. We're gonna mimic that same exact thing. So going into this side, again, I like to work on, whoa, on a view. My character's right arm is forward, and this is under 75. So I'm actually gonna take this, and actually maybe the front view might be better. I'm gonna bring her arm down and then I'm gonna bring it forward. Now humans are interesting. You'll notice that she actually, we try to keep our arm as close as possible to our body, and then we actually kind of go around and, and look where her arm is. It actually ends up behind her. So not only does it become forward, it goes around the body and then behind. So we're gonna do something very similar. So I'm gonna take her pelvis. I'm just gonna kind of rotate her forward so that she looks like she's got forward momentum and hit S again. And because this is a cartoon, let's not forget it's an animation, we can always just kind of exaggerate something. So I'm gonna take this and just kind of go down her arm and just kind of place her arm like so, just a little bit. And because her arms look like her fingers are so like straight, I'm gonna just kind of relax them a little bit. And uh, by relaxing them, I mean I take like the point finger, just kind of curl them just a little bit same thing with the middle, just curl them a little bit so they look a little bit more instead of like being clamped together. Uh, let me see if I can get my ring finger. I'm gonna type it in 0 0.3, 0 0.3, something like that. And let's do 0.3 for all of them. And then her thumb, I'll do 0.1, just a little curl. And let's move her hand like this a little bit. All right, so that's the first one. So again, once you're happy with that position, select all three controllers that you just moved and then hit S. Then I'm gonna middle mouse and drag this all the way to 185 and hit S again. So again, we're going to be moving the character. Around 132, we want the arm to be in the opposite end. All right, so it almost mirrors the opposite leg. So let's go ahead and move her foot back. Uh, not her foot, her arm back. And I'm going to just kind of straighten it up a little bit and then take this one and straighten it up a little bit as well. And I also want to make sure it's almost like behind her body a little bit, just like the reference, re reference image. And maybe just bend it a little bit. Let's give her that relaxed arm. Hit S. Oh, don't forget to grab all of them. Just want to confirm I grabbed all three and then hit S. All right, so let's see what we get. We get, and then she goes through her arm, so we got to fix that. All right, let's fix it. So around here, when we get some penetration, we're going to lift her arm up a little bit. And we probably just want to bend the arm just a little bit. Again, select all three. And hit S. So we got whoop and goes around. And vice versa around here. Just want to make sure it's lifted a little bit. We don't want to have any type of penetration. Hit S. Maybe all three of them. This can lift a little bit. A 
All right, we're going to mimic it to the other side as well. So let's start at 75. I just want to remind everybody that I'm not really an animator. Um, I just do enough to get myself into trouble. So I can just do the basics. Um, let's make sure this is bent a little bit. And then, of course, her fingers. So just kind of keep that in mind that uh, I like... I'm more of a technical artist, I would call myself. Um, I try to um, avoid an animation. I mean, I, I there's a lot of people that really just love to do animation, so I don't want to take away from that. Uh, but, you know, I just want to kind of demonstrate that you can basically do some stuff too. So, you know, you're not limited. Okay, so I keyframed it on 75 and all the way to 185. Let's go to 132. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to repeat what we did. You could you could actually grab the values like you did before, but I'm going to eyeball it because it's kind of more fun if you just eyeball the... Uh, I'm going to twist this a little bit like that and then click S. And then around one, around here, I'm going to lift that shoulder up. And then, wow, so scary. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and move it out of the way as well. And maybe rotate this. So again, hit all three and S. Make sure I did that for everything. So here I didn't. Okay, I'm going to click on this one and then this one. Okay. Let's see what we get. Cool. She's moving. And she actually looks like she's doing a walk cycle, which is a big deal. Now, she's looking a little stiff. You notice that she's kind of swinging left to right. That's because we've animated her uh, going to this direction. And honestly, we try to keep our eyes pretty still because we're trying to focus on things. Otherwise, we'll be super sick. So we have to animate her spine. So let's go ahead and at neutral position, let's grab our main spine joints here or controllers and hit S again do the same thing for 185 and then same thing for around 132 she actually we actually remain pretty straight around here now when we go pass when we do the pass around let me see what keyframe we had oh there we go 104 we kind of bend her a little bit so that means that we want to make sure that her whole body basically um, straightens up a little bit. So I'm taking basically every joint, everything from the spine, and just kind of lifting her up a little bit and rotating it so she's actually straight. So once I have all those, I can go ahead and select these guys and hit S. So now what we have is anytime she moves up, her body's already rotating to compensate for it, and then she lands, and then we have to do this. So it's better than this, right? She's actually like leaning. That doesn't look very natural, but this actually looks very natural. All right, not this part. All right, let's go ahead and fix this. So around, let's see, what frame do we want? This one? We're going to do the same thing. I want to grab these guys. Maybe I can just rotate her right off the bat. All right, now that she's relatively straight, let's go ahead and select these and S again. Now, unfortunately, I might have done her arms too soon, so you can see that her arms are swinging out too far, which is okay because I can comp compensate for that. So I can just go ahead and bring her arms in. I can grab the uh, other one that's penetrating her geometry and bring them out. I'm gonna bring it closer to the keyframe. I don't need extra keyframes. I might need to just rotate her arms a little bit like this. Make sure everything's keyframed. And then, all right, so you see there's a pop. That means I put two keyframes together really close. So I need to delete one. So select one, right click, delete. And thank goodness I picked the right one. 
So let me just make sure how that's going. So you see how she's swinging really far on this arm again on the left, my left, her right. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take this and just bring it in a little bit. Probably want to relax her arm a little bit like so. Make sure there's no penetration again. Make sure you select all your keyframes. A little worried about this one, so I'm going to bring that one out a little bit. S. Whoops, I guess I hit something else. Uh, let's go back a little closer. Too close. Okay, let's see what we got. There she goes. Moving around. Cool. All right. She is so slow. Let's go ahead and accelerate her a little bit. So let's bring back the controllers. Uh, I'm going to select all the controllers. Now, I shouldn't be able to uh, select the geometry. So over here to the right, I'm going to reference that. So I should just be able to select the controllers. Now, what, I'm sh what it shows me here is that I have uh, keyframes in all sorts of places. So I'm going to clean it up a little bit by middle, mount, by middle mouse and dragging. So I'm holding down Shift and dragging, clicking and dragging. I'm going to kind of snap them together. I'm really worried about this one. They should all basically be around the same space. So it's not supposed to be too much of a change. I have, I really was just doing what's called pose to pose. One pose, another pose, another pose, another pose. So now that I have all of my keyframes pretty much together, what I can do is just give myself a little bit more time. Take this arrow, whoops, start again. Click here, shift and drag all the way to the end. Grab that triangle and bring them in. So what that's gonna do is make this animation go faster. So now when I press play, she's walking a little faster. Uh, let's see, I'm at 130 now. So let me cut this to 132. I still feel it's a, she's a little slow. I want to make sure that she's walking a little faster. It makes it a little bit more realistic. So again, I'm going to try again. I'm going to click. I'm going to shift, click, and drag all the way over here. Grab that arrow and just crush it. Mm, let's see. Let's let's try 110 here. Let's see what that looks like. There you go. So that's actually looking a lot more realistic. So let's change this all the way to 108. There's still a little hiccup there, so I'm going to do 107. And the idea is that she actually will just continue to animate. So notice that there's a little, you see how she's, it's very jarring from here to here because she's leaning forward and over here she leaned back, right? So I obviously have some sort of keyframe that's not working. So I'm going to select all of this middle mouse and drag all the way to the end and then hit S. Now, something interesting happens here. Notice that when I select 107, that it's that the keyframes actually somehow in the middle. Well, I need to actually do one thing, which is double click on this frame on this, which is selects all of them right click and then click on snap. And what snap does is that it will take the nearest keyframe. So instead of being at 107.5, it actually will snap it to 107. So now it's nice and even. So now I can actually select all of these, grab 75, middle mouse and drag to 107 and hit S so that my animation starts and ends in the exact same thing. All right, so she's moving forward, she's leaning back, I actually want her to move forward as well, so I'm going to rotate her forward. And make sure that she's actually cool. All right. So very quickly, we've managed to create some simple animation. I'm going to press play. Now it's a little bit more. Oops, let me see when she, her animation ends around 107. Hold on, let me grab this. Yep, so I'm going to type 107 here so you guys can see the actual cycle. And I'm going to go to 106 just so you can really see the walk cycle. There you go, nice and smooth. So our character's walking. It's kind of neat. So there's a couple other things we want to start adding. 
Um, there's a, there, we need to make sure that there is weight because right now she looks like she's floating and also move her head a little bit as well. But uh, yeah, there's still a little bit more to go, but I hope uh, you're going to find this helpful and useful. Let me know if you guys have any comments by leaving a message below. Um, don't forget to take a look at academicphoenixplus.com where you can find free downloads, free resources, free ebooks, and so much more. I really try to give you guys um, a lot of resources. So take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. And I will see you next tutorial when we start cleaning up the animation. See you then.